as a business which fundamentally imports a large quantity of the value of our product, obviously the importance of sterling strength has a big impact on terms of our overall market. Ultimately, we import about 20% of the wine that we actually sell in the UK is actually denominated in US dollar, either because it becomes from the USA or because it comes from Chile or Argentina, which also they buy, uh, we buy from them in US dollar. Effectively, that means as sterling gets weakened, I'm afraid our product becomes more expensive and that ultimately will feed through in the longer term through to supermarkets and through to their customer on shelf price. Ultimately, all businesses want is a degree of certainty in policy terms. So what you want is something that enables you to plan. Sudden changes and shifts of policy one way or another, like a flip-flop, does not actually help anyone in the business environment to plan. We had a position where we were trying to buy a piece of kit. As a consequence, the interest rate on that piece of kit we were looking to buy went from 3.4% to 7.4% in the course of a week. That is the kind of issues that businesses can't plan for because of uncertainties and problems caused by government. I don't think we've had anything in such a scale and so swift, such a swift change. Yes, there have been decisions made by government which have obviously impacted upon businesses. And within our business, obviously, the biggest thing that impacts us is changes in excise duty, so the tax on alcohol. But fundamentally, that's normally been planned or can be seen in, adv in advance or with some form of notice. The issue that we have at the moment is the changes are so violent, so quick, it's very difficult to plan. And as a consequence, it's hard to take a decision. You'd rather not take a decision than make the wrong one as a consequence of maybe the policy changing. It's very difficult to tell at the moment because there seems to be such uncertainty within the Conservative Party. It's very hard to see how they can re-establish economic credibility for themselves. All we have to do is hope that they can do so because it's in the interests of the country, whichever political party you're from, that we have some stability back.